gone and I had no idea why. And I had to download a, like a super obscure program to just figure out that, okay, this corrupted file, it couldn't even be used, uh, was, was taking up 100 gigs on my <laughs> hard drive. <laughs> Nice. And there was no indication of it. It was like, yeah, thanks, fucking that's a, screen flow. That's a pretty nice find, though. It's like, oh, I just got a free 100 gigs back. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it's like overnight. Exactly. Let's see. Level one. No! And then save. Ah. Oh well, whatever. Okay, now we're back to where we were. Fifty minutes down the drain, baby. Okay, so let's check our laps then. So I'll finish the finish the the map. Grab some boosts. So if I go through this, okay, so it didn't start, it didn't restart. However, I see that my checkpoints didn't restart either. So I can probably just like go through again. And then if I go through a third time, then I win. So obviously we need to reset how many checkpoints uh, we need to go through. So we need to go through all checkpoints again for the next lap. You guys uh, see the problem? No? Yes. Yeah, we see the problem. Right? It makes sense, right? That I go through all the checkpoints and I gather them all. And in the go post, I check have I gathered all the sh uh, all the checkpoints. And that's when it increments the, uh, the lap number. So when I go through here, I will have all my checkpoints. I go through. But when I come out the other side, I still have all my checkpoints. Like it still says 6 out of 6 here. So I can just go back in and grab another lap, and then I can just go back in again, and then I win. So he's grabbed three laps, but he's going through the trigger three times. So a speed run. So it's a speed run, yeah. Um, Mario Kart Wii, essentially. Yeah, exactly. It's amazing game design right there. Uh, I'm pretty yeah. good, pretty good game center. So yeah, obviously we got to do so. When I go through the goal, I reset all my checkpoints. I don't still have them when I come up the other side. I want to be like, okay, you're on a new lap now. You shouldn't have any checkpoints. Um, so let's do that. So in the goal post, uh, I will empty the past checkpoint set. So let's empty this. So that will remove all of the entries in the set, which means I can re-go, uh, I'll go back into the level and pick them all up again. I will also update the uh, widget, so we'll just do status widget, I'll just update that, set uh, past checkpoints, I'll set that to zero. There we go. So now I'm emptying out the uh, the set. So this if statement will fail next next time if I try to cheat. So it will be the num of the past checkpoints will be zero. And I'm also resetting the number to be zero on the widgets. So let's see. Does that work? Did you remember to include the widgets? Ah. Nope. So we'll include it. I don't remember what it's called. It's called that? Widgets? I don't remember. Widget slash, okay, it was widgets. Uh, wait, it's that just, you, you wrote status bar, not status widgets. Ah, uh, fuck. Oh, 
By the way, just a random question. Uh, why is it that you have to add like the generator.h file at the bottom of the include list? I've always kind of wondered that. Uh, it's because whatever the code... I don't quite know. I, I'm pretty sure it's because there are some code written in the generated file. Um, which might reference what's in the include files. Oh, so if you're right. including something and it has to generate code based on what you include, uh, then it needs to have that included when it generates that code. Otherwise, it will be a compile error. Because it literally pastes the code in and then it has to write. Okay, yeah. yeah. So that's what makes sense. I, I believe that's why, at least. So now, if I grab all the checkpoints, fuck. Grab some boosts. Fuck. Then I pass, and it. The fuck? Okay. Let's try it again. I go through all the checkpoints. Like that, and then I go through the goal, and nothing happens. So we go through the goal again, nothing happens. Okay. Did it compile? Maybe it didn't compile. No, it did compile. What the fuck? Let's restart. I don't know. I don't know what naming conventions Unreal uses, but um, oh. I've I've run into some code in other places where uh, calling dot empty on a set doesn't empty the set; it returns a boolean telling you if the set is empty or not. Um, I don't know if that's true here. Here it says removes all no, elements from okay. sets. So yeah, should okay, be okay. That's fine. not it then. But even then, I was like setting the current lap to, or a current uh, like past checkpoint to zero. So ah uh, yeah yeah now it works. Okay, so it was just a whole compile thing. So now if I go through it, nothing happens, and if I go through it again, hopefully nothing happens. Okay, so now I actually have to finish all the laps like a civilized human. So let's go through, and I'll just grab some boost. Go finish another lap, and then if I go again, got so hard to control this fucker. Yay! Hooray! All right. So last thing before we take vacay, or uh, sorry, before we take uh, weekend. Uh, let's have a, uh, what would you guys prefer? A lap counter or a timer? Lap counter? Okay. One on, on lap counter list? One like for timer. I want to go with timer because... Uh, unreal. Yeah. Like, I mean, we, we can see from what we've already done, we can see how to do a lap timer, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's definitely right. The, I would just replace the checkpoint, honestly. I always feel like, no, <laughs> we don't need a fucking checkpoint counter. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so yeah, let's do a timer, uh, since uh, lap counter would we'll just be doing the same thing again. I'm just going to double check that I'm actually recording. I am, okay, good. Um, yeah, so let's make a timer. Uh, I mean, it's not, honestly, it's not going to be all that different, but it's always good to, good to, good to know. Um, so I will... Um, I will actually. I will on the race car. 
Uh, instead, I will record on a race car the time when we begun the race. So I will just do float, uh, race, begin time. So I'll set that on uh, begin play. I'll do it on possessed by actually. So on possessed by, I will set race begin time. So to get the current time, we do get world. Uh, I think time. Yeah, there we go. Uh, time seconds. So that will be time in seconds since level began play. But is paused when the game is paused and is dilated slash clamped. So this is good. So if we pause the game, then um, this won't increment, which is what we want. If we did want something that's un that doesn't uh, pause, so like even if the game is paused time increments, we have unpaused time seconds if we want to that. We also have real time seconds if we don't want time dilation and clamping. Uh, so that's just like in actual real time seconds how much time has passed, but I'm going to do time seconds. That's like the in-game time seconds. Cool. So that's going to be our race begin time. And I'm going to set that on the status widgets. So on the status widgets, actually, ugh, let's do this in game play. I hate possessed by, I, don't, I never know, I don't know what it's called. So at least do it in begin play anyways, whatever. So I'll, in the status widget, I will set this time. So let's see, in the status widgets. I'll set. Set race begin time. Like so <clears throat> like that. Compile. So let's go to player status. Let's go to grab. And I will do event, set race, begin time. So I'll just save this as a variable. Race, begin time. Cool. So now we want to show some sort of timer here. So I will add another entry to the horizontal box. So I'll just add another text. I'll actually um, increase the size of this a little bit. So at least the width override, at least cram it out a little bit because it's a little bit cramped. Uh, like so, and we want the I want the timer to be before the checkpoint. So I don't want the checkpoint to be all the way to the right. So I'm just gonna click uh, click the text box I just made, hit the right, uh, the left arrow there, and I will make the text a little bit smaller. Whoa, okay, it's so fucking, it's so fucking finicky. Uh, Let's do 15. Yeah, that's good. That's a good amount. Um, so where do I want to put this? I guess. Guess we can. F I guess we can. F I guess I can do this. I'll make this not fill anymore. I'll just make it auto, and then I'll make this fill instead. So this will take up as much space as it can. And these two are just going to take whatever they have left. So this one becomes in the middle of the player one and the zero point uh, or zero slash eight. It's in the middle. Um, so I'll just do middle alignment and center alignment. And that's going to be it. Uh, and then I'll just, I'll just do an another binding function for this guy. I call that get uh, time text. So here, format. Let's start out with just typing out how much, how many seconds has gone by. So we'll start there. Let's do seconds. So to figure out how many seconds has gone since the race begin time, I guess we'll do time. 
<laughs> and there's probably is some nice like time seconds to string. The fuck does that do? Convert the number of seconds into mi minutes, seconds, milliseconds. Oh, it already has like a function for that. Okay, great. Okay, so we, we might just use this instead. Then. Let's fuck that. Uh, but I don't. I, I want to get uh, the amount of seconds since race begin time. Get game time. There we go. Get game time in seconds, and we just kind of divide uh, like just get the difference. So it's minus one by the other. So we'll do uh, time get count the game time in seconds minus race begin time, and that will give us in seconds how much time has gone by since we started the race. And then I'll just do this time seconds to string, which gives us minutes colon seconds point milliseconds. So that was convenient. And now let's see what happens. Yep, there we go. So now the timer is going and it's showing us the minutes, uh, seconds and milliseconds. So now we can race. And ironically, we're just in time to uh, finish the lesson. Wow. That's amazing. See how fast I can clear this. Which lap am I on? Am I on lap two? This is the last one. Ah, I didn't see the time. <laughs> it's like a minute. All right, cool. So pretty shitty right now, but yeah, I mean, next week we'll make it better. So we'll do like a, both players have to finish or something, and we'll do like show each lap text, uh, each lap uh, time. And so on. We will do something nice. But any final questions for today before we round off? Uh, How much nice. did you record? I think everything. The only thing I didn't record was making the nice level, which doesn't exist anymore, so it doesn't matter. Uh, How much time is left now? Is, is it just one week more? One or... week. Can I have a request to um, have an assignment to uh, with most elementary? I don't know how many is going to be on board on that. Like we can have a vote or something, but let's do a poll. Let's yeah. do a poll. Uh, yeah, let's do that. And uh, yeah, that's actually very convenient. Let's make. Yeah, okay. You know, what? I'm going to decide right now. Let's do a project or a project. Last week, you can either continue this. You can continue on the uh, the one we did before, the first person shooter, or you can make something entirely new. It's up to you. Uh, make whatever you want, and then I will use that to grade you. So the result of that will be your grade. Uh, not only I will of course take other stuff into account, uh, but I will use that as the like main grading point, because uh, actually uh, between you and I and the internet, because this is recorded. Uh, I think Krister is a little bit stressed about me just giving everyone G's and <laughs> so he's like hey we're actually being like investigated <laughs> by the no we're not being investigated that's not true but uh, uh, we are getting a little bit of pressure to be like are you a real school are you doing real stuff and I'm like you're G's for everyone <laughs> so um, I'm gonna be a little bit maybe a little bit more proper with grading so but what are the grading criteria for that you say we're allowed to do anything how will we know if we did good? Because uh, I, yeah. I'll make up a, a, some criteria, but in my head, it's just like, if you looked like you cared, then you get a G. And if you impress me, then you get a VG. I mean, I never look like I'm, I care, so it, uh, I don't know. Well, you look like you care. What are you talking about? Know. I if mean, I... It, my base of like you don't care is like you didn't turn anything in, and it's you just, don't like, the just and you don't you didn't even write to me uh, why. It's just like you, no show. That's like okay, yeah. you didn't care. Uh, if you turn something in, it's like I try to make something, then that's okay. Then yeah, that's that's. Mm. Key. Yeah, uh, can you have like an example of this, uh, like 
I don't know, an example of um, something to accomplish in a week. Yeah. Because I struggle with that a lot. Like, oh yeah, I can do whatever I want, but what do I want to do? Like, the fuck do I know? You know, it's I, the possibilities are endless, so I do nothing instead. You know, it's kind mm. of... Yeah, I, I do want it to be quite open. That is like, yeah. even if you just fuck about, and maybe you just type in like, oh, I fucked about with the material editor. And I found mm. out this cool thing, or like I tried to learn about what have you, and I didn't really produce anything. That's for me is good enough. Like the point is not to produce a product, the point is to just fuck about and try your best to learn something. Like if you're more motivated by projects, then do a project. If you're more motivated by just poking buttons and seeing what happens, then that's fine. Uh, as long as you do something and have, you know, you can you can tell me what you've done. Uh, I think that's good enough. Uh, but I can give you some examples, and uh, I'll make I'll make up like a actual document with criteria and and stuff like that. Perfect, thanks. That's really uh, good. Running on the no show bit, um, I know I won't be able to turn in anything by whatever uh, time we're supposed to turn anything in for next week, because uh, I I still need to ask a question: How the fuck do I make a folder in the C plus plus classes? Because none of, I have basically not been able to learn anything for like a month. You don't. You do it in the file explorer. No, that's the thing. I do it in the file explorer. I've even gone so far as to say, I want this fucking new script to be in that new folder. And it doesn't show up when I start Unreal. It doesn't... Sh Unreal refuses to start if I start Unreal via that specific script in Visual Studio. Uh, my Google Foo is not good enough to realize what the fuck I'm supposed to do to get past that. And uh, I can't really go even copy the... Um, What's it called? The projects we've been given properly, because the first thing I see is, oh, that fuck game mode we had requires you to go into play, player slash something, and I can't even get to that point, because I can't even get to slash, because I don't, and I don't know everything's built. Because this, unfortunately, this is a personal problem for me, but I don't know how to fucking learn from this. Uh, Why well, I haven't seen you in the channel, I think. Yeah, because this is going on the like, oh endless possibilities, I don't know where to start. I don't even know where to start, begin to ask for help on how, how for this to work. Like, I don't even know where to start, how to ask for help, because I don't even know what I need help with. This is like fundamental. I mean, if you have a clear problem. problem, like I can't make a folder, then you just write that. He's like, I can't, uh, how do you make a folder? All right. I'll is that, is, yeah, you don't suffer in silence. You say something like, we can't help you if I don't know that you're struggling. So I think it's like as soon as you hit the wall, like types, I'll help or a friend uh, or like a, col a colleague of yours will help. Like we are here to help. So I would say, uh, yeah, just type something. Sure. It is. <laughs> it is also just I, I really need a structure and I had a hard time following just this any structure during the other day. So I basically tuned out because I couldn't keep up. So I don't know how to even start learning from this. Like, what are the bits I'm supposed to learn? I don't know what I'm supposed to go with it. Like, there's a deeper problem than just, I don't know how to make a folder. Yeah, but I don't think you have to learn exactly everything, though. Like, you have to, like, you absorb as much as you can, but then, like, the rest of it, you, you, you're you not going to be perfect. Like, you're not going to be Emil after this course, because, you know, Emil has a... Uh, a lot more experience and has a job and is probably smart because yeah. we're not. I think uh, you're overestimating me when when you're talking, which is nice in one way, but I this think you're a... underestimating yeah, I think yourself. You're underestimating yourself a lot. Oh no! Uh, look, but let's... like everyone's on the same page as you. Like everyone I've talked to in our class has said the same thing. Unreal terrifies me. Uh, I'm going to fucking die during project like game project three and. Uh, I can tell you this for a fact, like, we won't die. Like, it, it, we're, we'll just have to, like, learn together. Like, it's everyone's sinking together, but let's just, you know, go down and be happy about it. Like, it, it, we're not going to know as much as we knew in Unity in Unreal by the end of this course. That's just not reasonable, right? So we'll just, like, take it one step at a time when we get to Game Project 3 and just, like, try to learn together because, like, it's... It's unrealistic to assume, like, assume that you, uh, I don't know, get to a point where you understand Unreal. 
Just but, try to do a... Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, okay, so here's the thing. That whole, just try something, This that doesn't really work on me. I almost fucking failed Gymnasium because of an issue just like this. Because, the, like, two of the hardest courses I had were, were basically no reading, only oral, very hard to, like, not, very little strictness because the course was basically made being made as it was being taught, so I couldn't even ask for help. Like, oh, I should, can I read these things instead in preparation? Um, and it didn't work. Like, I went, I had, like, a fucking ADD counselor I was talking to with this and how to structure all my other shit, and we, both of us, came to the conclusion I should take F in these two courses, which didn't have any reading material, that had a very little, very little proper reading structure that I could work with, because I couldn't keep up. I couldn't actually get anything in and any work put on this lit basically went nowhere. And that's what I'm asking. Like I it's not like, oh, we're drowning together. I literally need someone in lockstep Nazi uniform to tell me do this thing or do that thing or read this specific bit. Because otherwise I don't know where to even start. But I know that's not true though, because I, I did this with you uh, like yes. two weeks this, ago. Yes, listen and listen, from the me, start. Listen, listen. Yes, you did two weeks ago. The second we stopped, I couldn't even know what to do, like work forward think, on that. And that's yeah, happened yeah. before because Hugo was very nice to help me during the SPL course. And as long as someone was sitting, literally hand holding me through, I could go somehow forward. Uh, the second he we said goodbye for that evening, I was supposed to be like, oh, okay, do something on my own. It also stopped, and I couldn't even Google Fuma way forward because it just didn't work. But, I'm very sorry, but this is uh, was yeah. something, very, something very personal, like not in general thing. This is yeah. like just me having problems with this type of teaching. Yeah, but but then like at the at the end of when we did that, I didn't have to tell you barely anything. You did it on your own. You just need to uh, it feels to me like I'm not gonna put words in your mouth, but it feels to me like you need to just trust yourself that like it's fine to not know and like try to figure it out because it feels to me like you're you panic as soon as you don't uh don't know something and it's it's terrifying and it is for most people it's just i don't know yeah i don't know this it's uh, it's difficult i i get it but isn't it also good then to do a, a project in the last week and have do it with someone because I I assume that we're allowed to because Emil has said like you're always allowed to work together right yeah. isn't it a good idea for you to do that and just do take it one step at a time perhaps it would have to be with someone who would be w willing to work with someone who l will basically ask a question for every step of the way like oh, that's good yeah because you like if you ask more questions then you no more, right? I don't know. Sure. I think you also need to sort of realize that, like, that sort of thing where hitting a wall and not having anyone holding your hand, uh, that won't stop once you're out of here. Like, that will continue essentially forever uh, in this uh, business. Like, every, pretty much every day at work, I do something I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. And you just have to make it through. And that's sort of the skill that you pick up as you go. And maybe that sounds like you have to maybe develop that skill maybe from scratch, which, you know, that sucks. But I think, I don't know. I I, I mean, I can't relate to your uh, struggles that much because, like, I don't know. I haven't been in your shoes. But I think maybe that's something you should maybe pivot and focus a bit on more to developing a skill to not panic when you hit the wall but instead sort of try to uh, try to understand the methodology once you hit that wall to understand what are the next step what is the next step to get over this wall uh, not taking the wall as failure and that you're worthless and that you you're stupid because that's not true. It's just a wall. So I think uh, it's also like important to remember that you've come this far by like with the 
you're more comfortable in Unity, right? And that's something that you weren't always, right? You weren't weren't born good at Unity. So uh, something worked. Um, maybe there's some some lessons that you can take from, from what worked for Unity and maybe the same thing will work for Unreal. I don't know. Mm. But this engine is tough. Like you're you're not the only one that's, I mean, I, I know you have different circumstances, but even people who don't have like those problems are struggling with with this engine. It's just complicated and um, not the easiest thing to. Uh, it's not the most accessible engine, so it's going to be tough. And I think also now when we're in, uh, working from home and not in school, like at least all of us, as it should be, uh, it's hard to get like a probe of how how people are doing because like I've also been struggling a lot with Unreal. Uh, I've been taking it in like little bits and. Uh, it's been going forwards, I think, but uh, it's. I I thought I would I would learn more uh, at at this point, but it's it's slow, you know. It's it's just a completely new thing. Uh, so don't feel bad that uh, you don't have learned a lot yet. Uh, just take it in small increments. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, and do ask questions. Like uh, develop a skill to always ask questions. Even if you don't aren't sure what you're asking, just do it. Because again, that's not something that's gonna stop here. That's you know, that's gonna happen at work too. And it's a big red flag, actually, if someone works into a wall and doesn't ask any questions. Like we're all expecting you to hit wall. If I'm another coworker at work, like when we got an intern, for example, we all expected him to hit walls like every day. But we also expected him to ask us when that happened. We don't want our interns to sit through two weeks trying to like break through a wall and not say anything. Like that's just like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, why are you wasting two weeks <laughs> when you could have just asked us and we could have helped you? Uh, so, so yeah, I encourage you to develop a skill to don't be scared of asking questions. Asking questions does not mean you you suck and that you've failed. Asking questions is just a part of programming. Yeah, it's like like my mindset when it comes to like questions. It's sort of like you're not really programming until you spend eighty percent of the time asking questions to yourself, internet, other people asking questions. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like constantly coming up, like, okay, like what is going on? What do I want to do? How do, how does this work? Why does this not work? Just yeah. constantly questions everywhere. And I mean, you can always like break down the question into like really general topics. Like uh, if you don't even know what question to ask, like how to make an actor, if you don't even know what an actor is, it's like how to use Unreal and look up like a general article, just like step by step. This is Unreal, this is like this thing. And I mean, there's always a more general question you can ask if you want to do something in life, I guess. Uh, we should probably do more like this is kind of turning into a class meeting at this point um <laughs> but we should probably be better about doing things like code review and things like that um yeah. i know that some people kind of are confident enough to reach out and say hey look here's my code and just kind of you know just be naked in front of the entire class like here's the shit i wrote and just receive everyone's judgment we should all really get comfortable uh with doing that and be better at um sharing that kind of thing because problems like this will become more visible that way right and we we can chip in and we can help each other out yeah agreed mm -hmm. yeah but those are skills you're gonna have to learn i'm like it sounds harsh but in the end to survive in the game industry you need to have you need to be up a certain amount of confidence um I'm not saying like at the interview we're gonna be like you're not confident get out of my sight like of course it's something that develops when you're in the industry like you know everyone's not confident when you get in everyone's like shaking and scared uh, but eventually if you if you keep being at that stage where you don't trust yourself you don't trust what you do you don't trust that you can overcome anything like it's gonna it's gonna really hurt you uh, it's gonna be hard to develop properly so sure I think my one of my ground like asks not even a question more more like ask because this is basically how I survived school was more written material or pointers towards written material yeah. but that is very hard to ask because th um this is a very fly by the like 
very improvised course that is very oral and flexible in that sense. And that is um, just that is unfortunate the way that it is in like five times, ten times more hard for me to like learn from. And that's so I haven't tried this, but um YouTube has a very questionable auto caption thing. And all the lectures are on YouTube now, so it might be you may be able to like turn on that there might be a way to like download the what's it called? Transcript like the text transcript, thank you. Perhaps. Um, and also, I, would... I, I told you the first the first time we talked about this, I told you that like whenever you hit the wall or something feels like you can't understand it because my that's just the way I do lessons, poke me, write what you want to learn, and I'll send you material. Oh shit! I remember I told you that, and I have you have not written to me. Nope, I have not. Holy sh! Yeah, fuck, that slipped my fucking mind. <laughs> yeah. So from now on, uh, from now on. Uh, if you have problems understanding something, you would really rather have something written, then write to me. Sort of, it, ha it can be general. We can look, sort of work out together what it is that you want to learn, uh, and we can like sort of find that for you, and then I'll send it to you, so you can like sort of read someone else's tutorial uh, on what you want to learn, and you know we can make that work. Uh, but yeah, I, I, you have to write to me for for me to be able yeah, to, be able to do that. Yeah, that's the big thing. Yeah. From now on, uh, make sure to utilize uh, utilize me being your teacher. You can open a transcript by pressing the three dots on a YouTube video and then open transcripts. Yeah, I, I, you... I imagine my lessons are not very like good as just like texts. Like usually written has like pictures and like you know helpful notes and stuff like that. So I guess maybe I I, I would guess at least that just the transcript wouldn't be super super helpful. Yeah, but with timestamps, maybe like a combination of the two, you can like uh, check in, watch like a section of video, then pause yeah. and read and click in whenever. Maybe yeah. control F as well. Oops. True. Honestly, if YouTube had like a times five up, uh, like playback speed, that would actually be a pretty good combination. Uh, you can actually do that. I can send you a link how to do it. That would actually be genuinely. Can you put that in general, please? Uh, yeah, yes, that, I that's can. actually interesting looking. But yeah, like if, if you feel like you're behind and that you're not, uh, that you're struggling with Unreal and that you're not at the level that you want to be at, then good, because so do we. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm making it look way easier than it is. I'm looking at, I'm making it look like stuff like he's making a folder. I'm doing it like it's fucking nothing, like it's super obvious. But of course, it's not obvious, and of course, you gotta have to do it two or three times before it becomes obvious. So, I mean, that's. The that's pretty much what I felt like in the initiator and math course as well. It's just like Freya does something and it's like, oh yeah, I think I understand this. And then I'm going to implement it myself. And it's like compiler, compiler. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I yeah. forgot this thing. Because it's not like, it's not in your head yet. It's just Yeah, it turns uh, out she like renamed the fragment shader fun Like the fragment function isn't called frag anymore. It's like, wh why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ver V2F, I think. Is at V two F and it's like oh now we're gonna call it interpolators. Why? I, I get it, interpolates, but why change it? I, mm -hmm. I have no idea. It's weird. Yeah, we as teachers we have gone through all of those steps a million times. So for us it's obvious, but yeah, mm. learning is just doing it. There you can you cannot learn by just listening to someone. You learn by doing it because you have to do those steps. Oh, I know. I don't learn by listening to someone. That I've been acutely aware for a very long time, <laughs> even before <laughs> even before this. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's end it now so we can go grab a nice cup of weekend. But yeah, uh, write to me. Uh, always use me because I'm I'm paid to be here. So you know, uh, I I will answer. So um, maybe not right away, but I will always try to answer. Mm. And other than that, I will post the project then on on Canvas. I'll write out description, uh, what you can do, some examples, uh, criteria, and so on. And then next week, we will focus more on me doing um, hand leading. What is that? Uh, what's uh, mentorship? That yeah, sort of a mentorship. Like, I, I might do lessons, but it might be like on specific topics and shorter, shorter topic lessons to be like, oh, animations, and I'll show you how to do animations and stuff like that. And so, uh, yeah. Make sure to type a lot to make sure that I am still being used. So it's not like I'm just sitting here waiting for something. Like, make sure to utilize me if you run into problems and I will dart around and help you out. So. Awesome. Cool. 
Uh, have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. You too. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye. Thanks a lot. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. See you. See you.